Them boys just pulled me over and said, why you driving slow? Said it's basin just to make it to the top, I'm trying to go. I'ma do just what I want. I'ma say just how I feel. I'ma spark me up a blunt and now it's time to face the... What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nanika, and I'm back with another freaking video, y'all. Is y'all worried about that thumbnail? Is y'all worried about that title? I'm just going to be talking about my journey to 1K. Was it hard? Was it easy? Did I pay for likes? Did I pay for views? Hmm. Let's find out in the next episode of May. Nicole. All right, y'all. So, my journey to 1K. Give y'all a few tips few do's and if you don't okay so my journey to 1k was not bad because let me tell y'all me being me me knowing the person i am i know i'm very talented i know i like interact with people very well and you know i'm an entertainer i was born an entertainer that's how i feel so With that being said, you know what? I ain't going to do this because it's not that many dishes over here. So with that being said, I know, I knew like deep down inside of me, I had some type of talent. And as I grow with my fan base, as I grow with my subscribers, as I grow daily, you know, I figure out more talents that I have within myself. So it's like, Getting to 1K was hard because I wasn't hard on myself at first. And I think I wasn't hard on myself because I didn't have the support that I needed to push myself. Like, yeah, people was around me. It's like, your videos are great. You do good videos, blah, blah, blah. And um, talking about you're talented, blah, blah, blah. But it's like having someone constantly, constantly pushing me and motivating me was something that I didn't have at the beginning of um, my journey when I first started my channel last year, okay? But I try to stay, I still try to stay consistent even with everything I had going on in my personal life. You know, I still try to stay consistent while working, going to school. Like I have so many videos that I haven't recorded I mean, that I haven't edited and put it up, like me in school, me at work, all types of stuff that I, before this year, that I recorded and didn't put up because I didn't have the motivation that I have now. But all last year, I kept telling myself, 2020 20, is my year. I don't care. You know, I'm going to be great. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to collab. I'm going to meet big fans. I kept saying I'm gonna be such and such, and then if y'all watch my first video, y'all used to y'all see how I used to talk about uh, my very first video. All they just kept talking about I love me some DC Herbo. Okay, so my boy done followed me on IG. Okay, he follows me. We I'm not gonna say we talk all the time because it's like certain stuff, few conversations. You feel me? Not that that's important, but it's just like the people that I said I wanted to meet, I actually like had conversations. Like me and Kiana Jade and had conversations. And you know, it's just like I wasn't expecting that for myself, but the fact that it happened, like I got, you feel me? I'm getting in good with the YouTubers that, you feel me, inspired me. And um, this year, when this year started, I told myself, I'm going to hit 1K before March. I'm going to hit 1K before the end of March. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, y'all. So I have a little manifestation book that I like to write in. And every day I wake up, I write something positive that I want to do for that day or something that I want to happen for this month, for the month. And I write it in my book. And it's like, once you write it down, it's like, okay, now I got to do it. So... I encourage everybody get you a notebook, write down monthly goals, yearly goals, daily goals. I promise you, once you reflect back on that book, everything literally from, I got that book when, I want to say, maybe last year, maybe my cousin gave it to me. And when I say literally everything that I have wrote down in that book has happened, came true. 
as far as me wanting to do stuff personally and me wanting to do stuff as far as YouTube. Now, once this year started, I'm not gonna cap last year, I was, I had a lot of stuff going on so I didn't get to be consistent on my channel. I was posting like once a month, once every two months, okay? Now I'm posting, trying to post at least once a week, twice a week until I can get in a space where I can upload every day, okay? And uh, so like I said, when I started this year, I probably only had like 200 and something subscribers when January started. So when January hit, I'm like, okay, I'm not doing this another year. I'm not being lazy. You feel me? I'm going to get on here. I'm going to find me some people that want to support me, that I can support. You feel me? That's when I started getting in group chats. I started getting in support groups. Everything, groups that focus on getting our subscribers up, groups that focus on um, focus on getting our watch hours. Like, we seriously help each other, and I appreciate it. I love it. I love my YouTube sisters because, like, literally, we help each other. And we might not get to everybody's videos as soon as they upload, but we eventually get around to it. And that's what I love, like... Because the support you give is going to be the support that you get back, okay? And, yeah, so it's like once January hit and I started really, like, getting engaged and getting serious about my channel. Make, like, the end, honestly, like, I feel like December is when I started getting serious about my channel. But I had got added into a group chat and things went left. And me and the other girls decided to make our own group chat. And, you know, and just, you know, try to help other small YouTubers without it being an issue. You feel me? Without being drama filled and all that. So, like I said in the last video, I appreciate everybody that participates in the stuff that we do to help each other. Because, honestly, without y'all, my channel would have not grew. Like, when I say I've gained 800 subscribers within two months. Okay, and most of these people that I'm in group chats with just started their channel this year, and it's like I'm trying to get it to where everybody I'm in a group chat with hits at least 1k. So, like I said, me and my girls, we got a group chat, most of us are at 1k, I think maybe three or four of us are at 1k, and we just waiting on the other two or the other ones to get there, and then in our other group chat, we're just trying to help everybody else that got low subscriber amount to get where they need to be too as well so it's like even though we already hit 1k we not you know like singling everybody else out because at the end of the day we still need our watch hours and like i said i want everybody that i'm in a, everybody that i'm in a group chat with to um to you know win i want all of us to get our subscribers i want all of us to get our views and stuff so anything i can do to help you know just dm me if you need people if i got people that i'm subscribed to that you know that you want that you're not subscribed to dm me i will send them people to you i tell people all the time i'm gonna send people to you okay that's how big on support i am now when it comes to views and likes and paying for views paying for likes this is just something I encourage nobody to do, okay? You, everybody got their time. And I feel like when your time comes, your time is needed. It's going to be an audience for you and your time. But I know people that has paid for thousands and thousands of subscribers, that pay for views. And the thing I'm going to say about that is do what you do. But when it comes to getting monetized, those views and those subscribers aren't going to count. That's why I said get you in a support group. Get you in a um, find you a group of you find you a group of YouTubers that you know that's willing to support and engage on your content. Like I have real live subscribers. Like I have people that as soon as my videos upload, they own it. Okay, comments, likes, shares, everything. Shout outs on Instagram. All that okay so I would say my journey was hard in the beginning because I didn't push myself I didn't motivate myself like I should have because I was dealing with a lot of stuff moving and you know just finding myself finding my true talents 
with everything going on so the journey was not hard as long as you're consistent you post up post every day promote yourself every day you're gonna find the right group of people like i have so many people that want to collab with me in different states and i said this year was going to be the year that i collab with other youtubers so that's that you know be consistent if you don't do nothing else be consistent because that's what's going to bring your audience and then you know on youtube once you go a certain amount of months you go about five six months without uploading or being active on your account those views and stuff would not count okay if your if your channel has been up for a year already and you have you feel me once the year start i think once the year starts over if you're not where you need to be whatever you got does not count until you reach that year mark again so that was another reason why i was trying to push myself to keep going because Everybody wants to get paid, especially when you get paid for doing something you love, which is uploading. So, yeah, like I said, my journey was not hard. The best advice I can give is support others, support small accounts. I don't give a fuck if you got 2 million subscribers and somebody only got 2 subscribers, support them. Shout them out on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. You feel me? You do your promotions at show them the same love the, same, the love that you show is going to be the love that you get and just always show support because that's what's going to get you your that's what's going to build your audience that's what's going to keep people engaged on your content and showing them support but yeah that's basically all i have to say about my journey like i said please 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 do not pay for views please do not pay for likes okay one thing i don't like about this youtube community is i feel like everybody's so in competition with everybody that they can't focus on themselves and focus on the type of movement that they're trying to start okay to say about that y'all if you want to make uh i'm gonna say this every video because um if you want to make money actually i'm not even gonna do all this in this video i'll make another video about if you want how ways to make money from home and things to do during quarantine i would do that video maybe later on today or tomorrow but i just want it because it's like a lot of people they get discouraged when they see other people has made it to 1k before them so they feel that they need to go ah, let me go do this let me go do that take take your time do what you need to do be who you need to be make sure you have the right audience make sure your audience is rocking with you okay i cannot stress that because you want to get monetized so just take your time everybody got their time i didn't think look when i said i'm gonna hit and that's why it's good to speak stuff speak stuff into existence okay manifest manifest it speak it january i said i'm going to have a thousand subscribers by march by the first week of march i had a thousand subscribers okay i had a thousand subscribers and before march started you know how many subscribers i was at i was probably at like i want to say i was probably at like 700 at the end of february i was at 700 so i gained 300 subscribers with but by the end of february i have gained 300 subscribers okay so it's like just believe in yourself know that you can do it know that it can happen know that everybody has their time and just because such and such is moving fast doesn't mean you have to do it okay and that's just one thing i want to get on here and talk about because i know people be like damn because and another thing, what I did was I hit my subscriber count, which I should have stayed. I should have kept my subscriber count hidden until I reached 2K because once I felt like once I put that out there, you know what? I don't even want to speak on that topic because I don't want people to feel like I'm I would keep my subscriber count hidden until, you know, you reach a certain amount of subscribers because i kept mine hidden until i reach 1k which i should which i might go back and have my subscriber count but you know it's just uh just stay focused on you there's gonna be so many people that's gonna try to be in competition with you try to you know make you feel like 
make you feel like, oh, okay, well now I gotta do this because they here and they there. Like, focus on yourself, focus on your content, focus on your audience, ask your subscribers what kind of videos they would like to see, make polls and stuff on Instagram, get in groups, get you in support groups, okay? The support groups, because even then, you know, okay, these people don't know me, but we all doing the same thing. We all trying to win. So I know I'm going to get full support from them. So that's all I got to say for today. Like I always say, be blessed, stay blessed, never stress. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything, okay? If you need help, if you want me to help build your channel with you while I'm building my channel, let me know, okay? Click the link in my bio, get you some weight loss products, weight gain products. If you want to make money from home, hit the link in my bio, DM me on Instagram. If you just want tips, if you want me to put you in support groups, DM me on Instagram. If you got a small channel and you want your channel to grow, DM me and I can help your channel grow, get you in some groups, send you to the right people that's going to support you, okay? And uh, let's help each other grow. See, as right now, people are commenting on my stuff. Let's help each other grow. Let's subscribe to each other's channel. Like, that's the stuff. I love to see. So I'm going to end this video out so I can finish cleaning up, get to promote and edit this video and upload it. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Never stress. Move at your own pace. Don't pay for subscribers. Don't pay for likes. And I will see you guys in the next freaking video. Peace. Peace.